Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new back one video. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing something very special. So today I managed to find the brand new Geogon Brawler Pack. So this Brawler Pack is part of the wave two of back one releases. As you can see, we got two brand new back one molds that we have never seen before in this channel. So I am very, very excited to open this up so let's go ahead and quickly look at the box first so we can start opening this up so as you can see we got the aqua slugler the pirates by paragon uh ventus nilius the chaos Bartillion, and arles faneca so very quickly let's take a look at the art that is on top uh we got the pirates by paragon and the aqua slugler looking pretty cool on top there um let's take a look at the back and it looks like we got the three back cores opened up. So again, we got Arles Feneca, Ventus Nilius, and Chaos Bartillion. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's go ahead and see what's included in, in this box. So looks like we got the two Geogon, the three Bakugan, the six back cores, three character cards, seven ability cards, three gate cards, and one BTG battling rule sheet. So enough with this let's go ahead and open this up so we can take a look at the contents all right guys let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and look at is the brand new checklist so this checklist uh shows us some of the brand new back one that are coming out in the very near, near future so go ahead and pause the video if you want to take a look at this with detailed i'm not going to go ahead and show you guys one by one and talk about it because that would just make this video very very long so uh, maybe in the future i'll i'll do that but not today anyways let me know which one is your favorite um and let's get started okay so the very next thing we're gonna go ahead and take a look at are the back of course so it looks like we get two normal shields uh three green fists and one lonely flame fist so let's go ahead and take a look at that very quickly uh, for the Fire Fist, we got uh, plus 150 B power and 4 damage. For our Green Fist, we get plus 100 B. If Pyrus or Ventus, you get plus 3 damage. For another one, we get plus 100 B. If Aquas or Ventus, you get plus 3 damage. And for our last Green Fist, we get if Fused, you get plus 5 damage. Moving on into our Normal Shields, we get if Aquas or Pyrus, you get plus 400 B. A very good core and for the next one and last one we get if pyrus or ventus you get plus 400 b so the very last cores are pretty good so worth it moving on into our gate cards let's go ahead and take a look at these so we get chaos Batrix. this is gate card number 27 and looks like chaos uh darkest and aquas are the factions that are mostly benefited with this gate card so if you guys have those uh, factions uh, go ahead and use this for our next one we get another Batrix this time it's darkest Batrix without its back hook here so it is gate card number 26 and it looks like darkest is the one with the highest B power bonus and for our very last one we get Pyrus Pegatrix with its Baku gear and it looks like Pyrus is the most benefited out of this gate card so if you're running Pyrus I recommend this gate card. All right now let's move on into the action cards so for this brawler pack we get five action cards let's go ahead and see what we get so out of the bat we get Aqua's Bright Beams a one cost and its effect or bonuses or plus two damage and you draw one card pretty cool for the next one we get darkest piercer and it's a zero cost its bonus is plus 200 b and you get scan 
for our third action card, we get Seer Inventuson. It's a four cost and you get a plus 12 damage. So very high in damage, but it's going to take you a while to take him out. So uh, for our next one, we get Fusion Thunder Run. It's a six cost and it's bonus. It's plus 1,500 B. A pretty high uh, B power, but pretty high in energy cost as well. And for our very last one, we get Feather Fury. So it's another high cost at 6 energy. And its bonuses are minus 14 damage and you get scan. So that looks like we get either Diamond Talon right here or just a normal uh, Talon uh, blocking some type of move. Pretty cool art. Um, these all come kind of bent, so I am not very happy about that. But I guess... Uh, it's whatever, I guess. Anyways, let's move on into the video. All right, so before we move on into the gate, the character cards and the Geogon cards, let's go ahead and take a look at the back one. So this is what we've all been waiting for. Let's get started by taking a little look at Aqua Stardog. So uh, Stardog is one of my favorite Geogon uh, currently released. I just like all the spikes that it has around him. Um, pretty much he's covered everywhere with spikes, so that's pretty cool. And you can see his derpy face uh, just bumping out, which makes it look a lot cooler. So it looks like he gets uh, some orange paint on some of his spikes, as well in his translucent areas. So makes him pop out even more. Um, one of my favorites, not so bad. Um, Let's go ahead and grab a gate card so we can take a look at his open form. So with Geogon, if you're new to this channel um, and new to Geogon, you're supposed to drop them from above into a gate card or back, of course. So the challenge is to have them pop open and you can use them. So Slugler uh, pops into a very long boy. Um, he looks pretty cool, opened up as well, just as um, closed. Um, I highly recommend this one. Looks like he gets a 1900B. And in a minute, we're going to take a look at his Geogun card and see if it's worth it. And moving on into the next one, we got Ventus Nilius. So Ventus Nilius is very new to me. I have... This is actually like the very first Ventus Nilius I'm holding or I've hold or <laughs> I've held um, in a very long time. Um, so this is the Ventus Nilius for uh, the Geogun Rising season. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at his ball form real, really quick. So nothing special. Looks like we can see some of its lighter green colors on the outside. Um, not my favorite design for the for a ball form, but um, I guess it it gives you something. Um, here we have the Ventus Nilius faction symbol and uh, the arrow to show you where how to roll it. And it looks like he also comes with gear holes. So uh, a very decent design, but not the greatest. Let's go ahead and take a look at his open form. So there we have it, a very great land. So, okay. This is a very interesting mold. So it looks like Ventus Nilius now has three heads um, compared to the last seasons and the very first season. Um, he only had two. So it looks like they've added two, one more into his body. Um, pretty cool design. Let's go ahead and see how many B power it has. Oh, wow. It says it has only 100 B power. So my question is, is, does he have a very high B power or is this like, that's a very, very low B power. Um, in a minute as well, we're going to take a look at his gate card. I mean, character card. So um, not looking great so far, but we're going to see that in a moment. So uh, this is his back form and his front form. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, something very different for sure. I haven't seen this in any of its Nilius toys, so um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this design. Next up, we got Heos Spartillion, if I'm correct, that's his name. So let's go ahead and start off by his ball form as well. 
Um, I really like his uh, his ball form design. Um, we, I like the blue uh, areas that it has. Very cool design. Uh, it like pops out and tells you, oh, that's a, a Spartillion right away. So um, nothing much else to look at other than just this. Uh, just looks like it only has two gray areas. So pretty cool with that. Uh, let's take a look at the arrow and roll him open. So there you have it, <laughs> rolled off the gate card, but uh, he landed. So, okay, uh, this is a very cool looking back one. Not gonna lie. Um, I really like how he's doing like a, some sort of T-pose. Um, pretty funny. Um, looks like this Spartillion has a base power of 300B. Um, kind of hard to see because his uh, B power is like, I don't know, chipping off or something. But uh, we're going to see his character card in a minute. Um, no more gray areas either. Um, just like some of some gray hiding under his back, both sides. So um, I really like this one. Uh, moving on into the next one, we got the Chaos Faneca. So we already know this guy. Um, we've seen other Fanecas already. Um, this is not my favorite so far. Uh, I like other RLS back one, but this just doesn't have that much uh, like very cool design. It's just a simple uh, design with some gold parts. But let's go ahead and take a look at his open form and see what he looks like. So there we have it. We got a good landing and looks just like any other Faneca, just with some gold paint and gray areas. All right, so for our very last showcase, we got the very last Geogon, and it's Pyrus Viperagon. So right off the bat, you can take a look at the black paint that he has, and it is and it makes him pop off very, very good. I really like this design. Um, probably my favorite Viperagon so far, and I've only opened a couple. Um, maybe two. I know we've opened the Aquas and the Ventus. So um, this is the third one so far for me. I really like its translucent parts and its orange parts just goes really, really well. Um, let's go ahead and open this really quick. And it's a Geogon, so we're going to have to pop him open from above. So there you have it, guys. So the open by Paragon, you can right away tell all his cool design um i really like how he he's a two-headed dragon uh i'm he might not be a dragon uh but don't quote me on that um looks like he has a thousand six hundred b power and that's a pretty good uh b power but it's the cost that tells us tells us if it's good so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that in a minute so um other than that looks like a pretty cool design I really like this uh, these translucent parts. Makes him look kind of like a ruby. And um, yeah, um, I am really hoping to find his uh, one in a thousand chase variant. So I'm going to be hunting for that. And if I find it, I'm definitely going to be making an unboxing video on that. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move into the Geogon cards. All right, guys, so we're nearing close into the end of this video, but we still have two Geogon cards and three character cards to look at. So let's go ahead and start off with the Geogon cards. So the very first Geogon card, we have Aqua's Sluggler. So Aqua's Sluggler is a four cons and his base stats are 1,900 B and four damage. So looks like he doesn't come with any effects, which is kind of not good because uh, most or a lot of geogon come with effects which makes them good but um i really like this geogon card none anyways so um let me know what you guys think about this one and for our next geogon card we have pyrus by paragon so pyrus by paragon is a five cost and its base stats is a thousand six hundred b and five damage he also comes with an effect, which already makes him better than Sluggler. 
So if he wins the match, he gets plus seven damage. I mean, plus seven energy. So this is a very, very good Geogun if you want some extra energy. And let's move on into the very last three character cards. So um, I just got to say, I am very, I am not very happy with how bent these cards are. Um, I'm kind of disappointed, but anyways, uh, let's move on. So for our very first character card, we get Arles Foneca. And Foneca comes with a normal shield and a flame fist. Um, and its base stats are 700 B power and three damage. So it looks like um, uh, the art for this one is Foneca in a stadium ready for a battle. Makes it look pretty cool. And for our next character card, we get the Chaos Spartillion. So Spartillion uh, comes with two green fists and its base stats are 300 B and three damage. And he also comes with some effects, which are if you miss a reroll, I mean, if you miss a roll, you can re-roll so that's what this symbol means in case anyone was wondering and he also gets plus 700 b power if he lands if he lands on a green fist so pretty good with that not the strongest um but pretty cool art nonetheless and for our last character card it's none other than ventus nilius so ventus nilius has the Helix Core and the Green Fist, which makes it really, really weird because this box did not come, didn't come with any Helix Cores. As you remember, uh, we only got one Flame Fist, the three Green Fists, and two Normal Shields. So it looks like um, we're missing the one Helix Core. And let, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are six Baku Cores. So, uh, Let's go ahead and see which one we got more of. So looks like we got more of the normal shield. So instead of two normal shields, we were supposed to get one normal shield and a helix core. So that's an error out of Spin Master with this one. Um, I guess I can't use this uh, back one anymore if the only thing I was to get or the only back cores I had were these. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, but anyways, Again, let's move on. So for its base stats, he gets 100 B power and five damage. And what makes it cool with this one, or what's cool about this back one is that if he lands on a healer's core, he gets plus 900 B power. So that is very, very high. I don't think we've seen something like this in any other back one. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the highest we can go in a Ventus back one. So, uh, right off the bat, you get a thousand B power, but if you use the Helix Core with plus six hundred B power, you can go up to a thousand six hundred B power, and that is very strong. Um, I think that's better than um, the Ventus Ryarusu, which um, it's pretty cool to me. Um, there's the art, a very new design for Nelius. He gets three heads and looks like he has four legs and two arms um pretty kind of funny design but makes him look really really cool um let me know which one is your favorite out of all of these guys um my favorite has to be Nilius for the character card and its uh effects and stats but for the ball forms i think my favorite has to be pyrus by paragon um, I just really like his design. I like the black colors he has. I mean, he only has a little bit, but he looks cool with them. And especially when he's closed. Um, anyways, let me know which one is your favorite, guys. And of course, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe in order to see future unboxings. I do have two more brand new uh, back, back home back, brawler packs. So stay tuned for those. And... That's going to be it for me, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.